Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover. thank you for joining me here. So right now, we're taking a look at where we are currently at in our war against the Russians. So as you can tell, the Reich's Pact is not doing terribly. It looks really, 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 really cool if you look at it like this, but that's not the only thing. So, we have the Dono Adria Bund obviously doing okay, they're actually connected all the way down to Greece, of course. Third International is still holding very, very strong, and if you haven't noticed already, it's been a year since the last, the end of the last episode. I played this for another year of in-game time. I know I said I wouldn't, or I'd play just for a short amount of time, but my gosh, it has been str frustrating. And quite a struggle against the Russians, especially once they started counter-attacking and I started losing territory like crazy. But we managed to hold the line for the most part. And as you can tell, the Third International has broken Spain almost. Like, Spain is doing very bad. The Communist France is doing much better now, for some reason. Maybe it's because they're on scraping the barrel, and they actually have some more manpower now because they're on scraping the barrel. Um, right now, the Germans think that they're strong enough that they can go ahead and attack, which is insane, because their equipment levels and stats just aren't as good as the equipment level of the Third International. So they're attacking basically for no reason. Obviously, Germany has lost a little bit of its territory. Valonia is still here, barely holding on in... Valonian Luxembourg, very interesting. Um, Venice joined the Reich's Pact, if you didn't notice. Venice joined the Reich's Pact for some reason, so they're holding out. They're trying to attack suicidally. Apparently, some people have tried to invade Central Italy as well as Sicily. Um, Turkey and Bulgaria are trying to kill each other, which actually is a good idea. I might be able to kill Turkey later on and take them out, because I might need them in the future. Uh, but thank God, this has been one heck of a campaign. So... Um, with all these losses, we managed to push the Russians completely out of Finland. Completely out. Helsinki had to be sieged down for like three months, but eventually they were taken out as well as Petrograd. The fighting over in this area, the Sorotsk, Sorotsk, as well as Petrozavodsk, or however you pronounce this area, we were just stuck here for months. For like at least six to nine months. Over here, we recently just took Archangel, Archangel, yeah, Archangel. Um, but, as you can tell, look at my generals. So, I finally have kind of reformed some things here. My army, my field marshal. I've taken all the soldiers off of the western front because for a while they were holding. Now I'm not really regretting my decision, but we we are on a time bomb, basically. So, we have Melnik with five generals. I moved Pablo Skoropatsky with just infantry. He has just infantry, regular infantry artillery stuff. Um, for now, I've gotten rid of the regular infantry divisions, or I'm not making any more of those, I'm still making some with artillery, still making some special divisions, I ran out of manpower, so I had to go to service by requirement, and we're still recruiting or conscripting more soldiers. Um, so, as you can tell, I also have Yven Konovalets, Konovalets, and I've actually been able to push just a tiny bit into Kuban, which has been great, really, really cool. And we also took the port, so Noble Rodiska, or probably New Russia down here, that's probably the city name. And I also have all of my f special operations division, special units, into one army. And we're going to probably, hopefully, begin an encirclement. Thank God. Also, I have some coffee here. But it's not normal coffee. It's coffee from Taco Bell. I didn't know they had coffee. So I'm here to test it out. Also, you can tell which type of divisions that I currently have. Um, we've got first Galician, first Kharkiv. Some might say Kharkiv, Kharkiv, or Kharkov, but Kharkiv, Kiev, Odessa, Thunder and Lightning, and the Zolv Battalion as well as the 302nd 3rd Idar Division. Cool. So, we're going to try an encirclement. Because, my gosh, it's been an extremely crazy ride with this. And, oh, I'm almost, almost out of fuel. I've been killing a lot of ships here, too, which has been great. Really, really great, using whatever ships that we had from the Veltkrieg. Um, I'll let you know that I had to get a little bit more fuel. I got a little bit more tungsten, a little bit more steel from these other places. <gasps> Ooh, the 657th Orovno Division. Nice. Good, special forces are great. But we got to remember, we got to rename all these divisions eventually. If we want to have special divisions, which I will call the next one the 7th Luhansk. Ooh, Luhansk, Luhansk. There you go. I think that's how you pronounce it. Because that says Lugansk, but it might be Luhansk. So, awesome. That's that's wrong. Someone, I'm sure, will tell me in the comments below. But 
Happy 1943. It's been a, it's just been a crazy ride. I mean, we I've been struggling so much as a Ukraine. It's not even funny. Oh, I'll show you the casualties once I select the next tech, but cuz it's been crazy. It's been nuts. And right now we only have three research slots, but I'm thinking Five, one, two, three. I'm gonna have to go with tanks because right now the Western Front is just doing terrible without tanks, without enough tanks. And if I want to take out Austria-Hungary or, you know, the United States of Greater Austria, to get Galicia, I'm gonna need tanks. I'm gonna need them because right now the USGA Kaiser Karl is doing pretty well. They haven't lost that much, so casualties. Oh my goodness. So the Reichsbach has lost a total of 16 and a half million men. That's insane. We've lost over a million. Germany's lost eight and a half. The German East Asians have lost almost a million. Brazil's lost one and three quarters. It's just been insane, the losses. The Entente's lost over six million. Canada's lost one and a half million. The French Republic has lost over one and a half. Portugal's lost half a million. Spain has lost over two million. Um, don't know Adrian Boone. Kaiser Karl has been doing pretty well. Only Austria has lost a few guys compared to everyone else. The Great Khanate has lost some 3 million men. The Third International has lost, as well, over 15.5 million. The Commune of France, while not as much as Germany, 7.6 6, million is a lot of dead soldiers. Uh, Russia has lost 6.5 million, which we've killed 2.2 million just from us. So, losing a million Ukrainian men, not so bad when you consider you kill I killed off 2.2 million Russians so far. And of course, the Germans and Mongolians have killed 2.5 million combined. It's just been crazy. It's just nuts. And I've killed almost a million Cossacks as well, so. Oh my goodness. It's just been it's been nuts. Like, Jesus Christ. Um I'm gonna need some of you guys to start to moving to move down as well. Oh, we got the city, nice. If I can make this encirclement, that would be amazing, because I've been pushed back and forth in this area for way too long. The southern front has just not been able to move. The northern front is great. Actually, Germany, I'm glad who uh, one of my friends told me that, you know what, maybe you should stretch your entire front line to the entire front, because that was a great idea. As we saw yesterday, like, the Germans, they, they completely abandoned the line once they started losing in the west, and they only now have a few divisions in the north, and maybe the central portion. The central south portion here? The Reichspact doesn't care. They're like, Ukrainians? Who cares? And that's why we have to do what we have to do in the future. With a smile on our face. Um, you know what, we're not really... Only one division's in? Why is only one division in? Huh. Oh man, look at that lag. We're not exactly winning. You know what? We can make a smaller encirclement first. Hold on. I'm gonna redeploy the front line. Yes, we if we could it we could attack and maybe do well. But I'm gonna go ahead and call an audible here. And I want you to do this. I'm gonna do a smaller encirclement first. Do that. That'll be good. You can help cover a lot of places, and we're just going to encircle this chunk of divisions. Just destroy them all. Don Kuban Union, the Kozaks. Quite a few divisions. Not bad manpower. Not bad for them. But we are really... We have to kill off the Russians as fast as possible, because if we don't, Germany will fall. It's, there's no doubt about it. Even the French took a little bit of Alsace-Lorraine. They have a little bit of manpower left. They're on all adult serve. They got a good number of divisions, though. We got close air support. Finished for a long time. I didn't even do any focuses because I needed the political power because the occupation cost was just so great. I was losing political power every single day. Too much of it. So, each ship a bulwark. Native dockyards in Odessa and Nikolaev are more than capable of producing large ships such as cruisers. They will prove priceless in nearly every naval engagement. Awesome. More divisions. Ah, another spec ops or special division, special unit. Um, where's my sheet? I took a, had a quite a large sheet of things to put. Hmm, I think I didn't write down a lot of actual Ukraine English translation of Ukrainian names, but we'll call this the twenty second. Oh, twenty second, Kherson, Kherson, right there. Awesome. Oh. Cool. Oh, they actually took that tile back. But they're probably not going to hold it for very long. The logistics down here is very terrible. Do I have logistic companies on you guys? I don't even have logistic companies, period. Which is not good. Yeah, these guys are going to have to die. Um, What is the infrastructure? It's not great. Ooh, 
Nice. Four more gun. Good, good, good. We are out of artillery, we're out of motorized, and we're out of support equipment, which isn't ideal. Come on, take the stupid thing, because we got to immediately move northwest. Alright, let these guys get a little bit more ready to go. Romania counts with their Lenly, so be it. I need the divisions to move around, please. Thank you very much. Thank you, German East Indies. I need another thing of fuel. I was supposed to be making more civilian factories, just because I think that's probably for the best. I can trade those things away. Give me a little bit more fuel, Persia, because we need it for our navy. Because our air force is basically dead. We lost a convoy, that's unfortunate. Alright, let you guys get maybe a little bit more stuff here. Um, I'm going to have to start attacking in some direction. Would it be possible to attack here? We might win here, which would be good. Stop attacking for now. The infrastructure just isn't good enough. I'm going to have to research logistic companies, which I'm kind of surprised I haven't done so yet. Then again, we only have three research slots, so not really much of a surprise there. Come on, push these guys out. If we can get up to there, that'd be a great, great, great encirclement. Awesome. If we have to sacrifice Lugansk or Luhansk, so be it. That's fine with me. Go ahead and hold, hold, hold. Nice. Oh, look at We actually sunk some Russian ships. An armored cruiser, uh, three destroyers, another cruiser, and seven convoys. Oh, Russia. Oh, Russia. Oh, my goodness. We did it. We've done it. Immediately send the divisions in. We have to kill these guys off. Because, well, I don't want them to live. That's basically why. Um, ooh, wait, the infrastructure has actually gotten better here. Nice. Very good. Let them struggle. Let them struggle a little bit. Let you guys come this way. I will go ahead and send in one of our special divisions to move in. Um, they definitely, I don't think they can really take this tile. But the more damage I can cause to the enemy, the better. So, see what happens. I just want to stress the starvation of supplies that our enemies will not have. Good. At least we made an encirclement. Thank goodness. We get about 0.74 political power a day. I'm joined here by my cat as well. Binky, he's sitting in my chair, so I'm not sitting down and for doing this. So, we could do the government in exile for the Finns, but... Something tells me the Finns are doing at least okay right now. So. And the Spanish. God dang. Jesus, guys. Christ, guys. Um, but Austria did invade Italy, which is... Which has happened a lot in history, so... Austrians at least are doing something. Nice. More uh, Donkoban units destroyed, or convoys destroyed. Let these guys starve a little bit. Oh, wait, they're not starving yet, because they saw this. Which is not a problem whatsoever, because... I could probably throw these divisions in. They could probably do okay. Especially using some of these 40 with combat. Oh, yeah. Just melt those booboos off. Mm. Taco Bell coffee is really weird. It's not bad. At least it, as long as it's chilled. It's not bad. It's kind of weird. Why would a taco place have coffee? But whatever. Um, cool. So they're trying to attack. They recognize that they might be starving to death. And that's exactly what they want. We're going to cause a holodomor for these soldiers in here. For the Cossacks and any Russians that are in here. Ah, beautiful. Truly beautiful. Where are you going, man? Where are you going? You don't like 40 combat width infantry divisions? How about we throw in another 20 width? And there goes Madrid. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Please hold, Germany. you got to hold. we got to win in the uh, west. After we're done with this encirclement, I'm going to do a general push. We're going to have to... We have to take Tsaritsyn. That's the main city that we got to take out. Because the Russians are only 69% of the way there. Oof, because this is scary. This is a time bomb, like I said earlier. I could send divisions that way, but I'm tired of helping out Germany when they're not going to help me. Um, I guess I could send in my special divisions to help them out in Germany, but not not feeling it. Besides, we're also a major power, so if Germany falls, we can still hold out, right? Actually, we're the only major power. Whoa, whoa! Germany's lost nine million men. How unfortunate for the Germans. Good, good, good. Destroy them. These, the Germans should be able to hold for quite a while here, actually. Oh, my goodness. 
11 divisions against a lot of weak German divisions. Ooh. Bologna is doing well, except Austria, you put so many soldiers here, you're starving. God, I hope I can use a Reichs Pack to my advantage once this war is... Oh, no. There goes Valonia. I want to use a Reichs Pack to my advantage to take out... Ooh, we lost sub. That's not good. To take out the... Oh, holy crap. Look at these veterans. Nice. Yeah, go ahead and stop doing what you're doing. Just go home. These ships are doing a great job. Look at all... Every single one of these ships are just veterans. That's beautiful. Oh, goodness gracious. That's awesome. And you know what? We sunk eight more Georgian convoys. You doing okay, Bink? Yeah? Do you want my cat, Binky? A lot of XP. We've killed those divisions. Beautiful. And before we do anything major, I'm going to make sure we get Rostov. And take back Lugansk, Luhansk. I'm going to take this back, and we're going to do another encirclement and destroy them again. And then we'll do a general push. The Germans, ah, oh, they should be able to hold out. They should be able to hold out for at least a little bit longer. Even if half of Germany has to be defeated... Even if they get to southern Germany, they still have to kill off the Austrians down here, so we still have a little bit of time. They're not just going to hopefully break the German lines, even though that is a very, very real possibility. Alright, guys. Hurry up, get down there. We need we need to move quickly. Um, we got plenty of guns. we got plenty of artillery. Now we just need, need more motorized and a ton more support equipment. Um, I really don't want to do this. I've been doing this for a while, but do that. Not bad. Um, actually, you know what? I'm not going to allow that. You destroy every single one of those divisions. Alright. You guys are down here? Good. Immediately begin an attack. Get rid of that one, do that, and then do that. I'm going to actually tell you to force attack. Just kill everyone that's in the city. That doesn't like us. You know. Just, just special divisions things. Yeah. And then we're going to cut those guys off. Destroy every single division here, and then do a massive push. As the Germans seem to be attacking in select areas. As you can tell, the German divisions, they're very weak. But Mongolia has been pretty much the same. Looks like they got encircled over there, but really not much has happened over here. Qing is still fighting the Japanese and doing pretty w well. Um, Well, there goes the French Republic again. I think this already happened once. But okay. Um, Germany just... If you're going to lose... Just lose as slow as possible. Because I'm going to win the war in the east, no matter what happens. Awesome. We cut these guys off. When you get Yukov... Yuz... Oh, crap. I can't remember how to pronounce this. Yuzovka. Yuzovka. Well, at least that's what it looks like. But it's not actually how you pronounce that. There's another way that I didn't write down how I'm supposed to pronounce that, but whatever. Um, go ahead and go that way. And if I can, send the 300th... 323rd... Idar division that way. If we can take the supply base, it's over. Alright, so make sure that these guys cannot move. That is the main thing right now. Do not let these soldiers move. Even if we lose these battles, that's okay. That's totally okay. No one is allowed to move except me. Awesome. We're doing okay. We're still making our way over here. Make them starve. Make them starve. Oh, I can't wait for the peace conference for this. Oh. And I will give everyone at least a little portion of territory that they that I think that they deserve. Oh, beautiful. Just get rid of these guys. Finally, we we fought the Cossacks for way too long. Nice. Um Oh, how many divisions are over here? Four? Not bad, not bad. Oh no, you're losing your divisions. You know what, guys, go ahead and get ready. We gotta, like I said before, we're on a time bomb. Uh, we gotta make sure we crush the Russians in this episode. This is basically the Azov campaign I wanted to do in the last episode, but it never really happened. Um, good. Good, take that tile. And I'm gonna send my... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna send you guys, not to the south. I'm gonna send you this direction. Because that's probably where we really, really need you. Uh, Melnik. Uh, Melnik. Melnik. Uh, he needs to become a skilled staffer. Controlling at least 24 armies. Armies? That's a lot of armies. Like, you mean divisions at a time? Gain logistics on a skill level up. To get to expert delegator, but that's never going to happen. So I can give him more armies, but whatever. That's okay. Um, for now, actually. Get our division south. 
Get our divisions ready to go. Looks like the Germans are mostly holding out for now, which is great. As we continue to build, build, build. Because I can always trade away things that I need. Alright. Once the special divisions are down here, I'm going to make this into one major front line. That would be good. Ooh, convoys. Yeah, the Turks are kicking some serious Bulgarian booty. Not sure why. Not sure how. But I'm not really interested in the war. I might kill off Bulgaria and Turkey in one episode for them. Ooh, an encirclement. Just because I'm going to need allies to take out Germany, and just because we take out Austria doesn't mean I'm going to get all that territory from them. Alright. The Germans, they love attacking. I mean, I don't know what's up with the German AI, but... Attack, 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 attack. Cool. You guys are doing great. Go ahead and realign yourselves. If we can get Baku, that'd be great. Honestly, when the war ends, I'm probably going to be forced to give Germany Baku, because they probably want that for oil. But I can probably take everything else. So, um, let you guys move around a little bit. Give me a few days for a few more supplies, especially support equipment. Um, I don't want to do this at all, but I'll do what I have to to make sure that we get enough supplies, period. So, that's not bad. I mean, we're good on guns. All right, give our guys a few days to get our planning up because I do not want to take that many casualties. We're, I mean, we're already on all adult, on service by requirement, not all adults serve. Oh, man. This has been an interesting campaign, to say the least. I've already been thinking about the next campaign, too, though. I think I might play as a nation that... Ooh, Toronto. Has... That I've never played before in Hearts of Iron 4. Any... Regardless of mod, I've never played as this nation. It's a small nation sometimes. It can be fairly... Ooh. I've totally forgot about this. Oh, this is a cursed timeline. That's not good. We have to kill off the United States. That's not good. Or the Union of Socialists. American states or whatever, but yeah, the nation I'm thinking about, um, never really played as. So, uh, let's see, anyone has upgrades? Nope. Anyone here have upgrades? Oh, we have Anton Putyatin, Putyatin, and you know what? We're gonna have to go ham. Uh, most people should be ready up north, yeah, they got a lot of planning. We don't have all the equipment in the world, but I don't care. It's time to end this. It's time to end this goddamn front. I've got to move on with my life. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys to do this as well. Oh, whatever. Just go right on ahead, guys. Who cares? Oh, at least maybe we can do it. Finally, a general push. It's been way too long since I've actually done something like this. Good. We're doing mostly okay in most areas. Oh, and there goes a the PSA. That's not good. Oh, hello there. And we can actually we actually have enough divisions in this area to maybe take out these enemies. That's a lot of manpower, but they don't have a lot of divisions, which is nice. Oh, uh, we also have to fight Georgia. I forgot. That's true. Um, oh, each ship a bulwark, and then firepower superiority. There's no greater vessel than a battleship. If we develop new and powerful variants, Ukraine should become an unsailable, unassailable on the Black and Azov Seas. Beautiful. Good. I think, in general, we're doing pretty darn well on the front. I mean, obviously, we're not winning in every location, but... No, that's okay. Over here, it's very difficult to get rid of these guys. Throw in a few more divisions, those two divisions that are not fully strength, but whatever. Nice. Um, for you guys, go ahead and s slow it down just a little bit. I know you guys are already kind of going kind of slow, but we really want the capital. So then we can go over here and take these guys out as well. Come on, take the capital. Awesome. Now you're going to help out back here. Hit these guys in the butt. Um, you know what? I'm going to tell you guys to stop moving. Don't worry about attacking right now. You're really not here to do very much except distract the enemies over here. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Cool. You probably don't need that. Awesome. Yeah. You took quite a few losses from that battle probably. Yeah. Let our guys get ready. Get situated on the line. Move up. Oh, eight more Russian convoys. Oh, actually, even more. Three more Georgian convoys. Nice. So we're, we're doing okay. We're doing fairly okay. Tsaritsyn is coming along. We will get Tsaritsyn eventually. Um, you guys are doing all right. We still need more support equipment and motorized. But guns are okay. And artillery is okay as well. We're holding still in the west. 
Oh, but it's a mess. One heck of a mess. But it's 1943. Could be worse, I suppose. I could be Spain right now. Oh, man, there was a fuel. I mean, my ships are doing great. I love my ships. Actually, you guys don't have that much experience, probably. Yeah, you guys don't. I'm going to switch you guys out. You guys, go ahead. You've done a great job, guys. I mean, like, seriously, an extremely good job. But I want to spread out some of that XP. Oh, the Finns want to give me a division? Uh, sure, you know what? I'll take it. Why not? They're not my puppets, so there's really no point to not to. I'm going to actually throw you to the south, because they could probably use it. Uh, militia division, basically. Not bad, not bad. Not bad whatsoever. We will push this next. Alright, you guys are have been told to go ahead. I mean, just, the game is a little laggy, so that's pretty much to be expected that we can't go too fast. But that's okay. Not bad. We actually have some political power in which we could do stuff. Um, I do want to attack here next, so... Actually, you do this. Yeah, against this many 40 combat with divisions, even though we don't have air superiority, we should do okay. Yeah. Just watching their divisions just slowly lose equipment. Ah, oh, beautiful. Truly beautiful. Russia, Russia, Russia. You've lost quite a bit. You've lost quite a few factories. You have only one naval dockyard, which makes sense. Quite a bit of manpower, and not a lot of divisions left. Now, I hope that Mongolians are... Eh, they might be doing better. Turkestanis, Khanate people might be doing better. This is not good. Oh, they pushed in even a little bit further, but that's okay. That's okay. The Hordes of the Red Beast. In the West. I would have loved to have said it in the East, but whatever. Alright. Oh, man. We got a commission. Kamishin. Sounds like a convention. Kamishin convention. Oh, we need artillery. Ooh. Oh, we actually need some rubber. Um, I can... Oh, the Germans have... How many refineries did you build, Germany? Right now, I am not making anything, so I need to make more civilian factories. And you know what? I'll also, this time... Oh, uh, thank you. Make a military factory, because I could use that as well. But once this war is over, man, oh man, I'm going to be building... Using all these Russian factories. Ugh. Uh, yeah, I'll take whatever I can get. Alright, so we need to plan out another attack here or something. Yeah, give me half of you guys. Take away their airbase. Hmm. Oh, there goes the rest of that coffee. Not bad, not bad. I might recommend it if you need really, really need coffee. Um, here's a good place to attack next. Are you Oh, maybe not. Let's see what happens. Let you guys move around. Uh, you guys, I would like to meet up here, but I want to do a little bit, maybe potentially of an encirclement around here. Maybe, maybe not. Hmm. Where's Saritsyn? Oh, it's still down there. Maybe if I give my guys a little bit more time to plan their next attack, that could be good. So, you know what? Let's just go ahead and link up with the other side. Right. Keep attacking. The, the Russians are pretty much on the run at this point. We might just literally be able to walk into Tsar... Excuse me. Tsaritsyn. 1943. Um, heart attack and piercing? Sure, we'll take that. Awesome. Very nice. Georgia, what is the military capabilities of Georgia? They're not very weak. Um, they got a couple divisions. They got a little bit of manpower. Not bad. They're still attacking these guys, so whatever. Artillery, support equipment, and stuff like that. Solidify control. Really not much we can do here. Um, they need help. We'll help them. We will really help them. Throw in a bunch of 40 with combat divisions. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Now that's nice. And we just walked in Saritsyn. Nice. We got our first Panzer, first heavy tank. The Russians are getting closer and closer to capitulating, and I'm not going to end this episode until we actually kill them off. So, uh, that's my plan. And now, because of this, I'm going to start helping out in the south here much more. So where can we attack? And where would be the best place to attack? Um, let you move up. Good. Give me half, two divisions here. Give me another division here. We're going to keep pushing the line as well down here. Nice. Right, so the Georgians keep attacking me. Very good, very good. Very good. 
I mean, obviously, we're almost to the Urals here. Holy cow. Um, I would really appreciate if you just kept taking territory. I know it, it stretch out, stretch, stretches out the line, which isn't ideal. But that's okay with me. That's totally okay with me right now, because I want these guys dead. I really, really want these guys dead. Hmm, that's going to be a kind of a problem. They're trying to counterattack. That's not good. Mm. Yep. Destroy that division. Keep doing some serious damage to it. Okay, the strength. Five, four, three, two, and nice. Yeah. Okay, pulling council with the Relentless. Yeah, so be it. Yeah, I understand. Maybe. Maybe I understand. Maybe I don't. Uh, push them this way. So we can push up that way as well, because they, they need help up there. Come on, Russia. Give up. Give up. We have to take Baku and whatnot. So, you know what? Plenty of you guys should have, have had at least a little bit more planning experience, so just move on in. We're running out of time in this episode. Obviously, obviously, this episode will last or run a little bit longer than normal, which is totally okay if we have to kill off a major enemy player here. Because Germany is falling just slightly, slightly falling. Nice, very nice, very good. Rostov is ours. Uh, send in these divisions, they need help taking this area out. Good. I love the green. Um, to capitulate the Russians, we don't really need to kill off the Don Kuban Union. But, ooh, they're at 86% of the way. Mm, it would help if we killed off Don Kuban Union, though. It really would. Send in that Division 2 to help out. Oh, yeah. That's nice. That's really nice. Nice. Ooh, it looks like we're not going to be able to expand too much more. I don't understand why my, some of my divisions aren't just straight up moving in, though. Well, I guess they're trying to realign themselves, which makes a little bit of sense, but I don't really care. Just move this way, guys. Just kill them off if you can, please. I guess we are trying to move divisions around. I guess the Finns took one of their divisions back. So be it, so be it. Wait, what the... Uh, no, 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 no. One division is holding out against these many. I want you guys to attack this way. Please, thank you very much. How many are attacking us? Oh, 16. Well, I guess that would make sense why we can't really win there. You know what? I wanted you to attack and actually do well, but your incompetence is extremely aggravating, guys. Come on. Like, just move in. I need this war to be over right now, guys. I don't know why the Russians just won't give up. I mean, they're fighting us. They, they're they almost... We're literally past the Euros at this point. They're fighting the Mongolians, which... Yeah, I'm sure the Mongolians aren't doing well, but... The, the extreme struggle right now of these guys is insane. Uh, come down here to over here. I'm going to really concentrate these forces down here. Come on, guys. Go ahead and get to where you need to be. Yeah, this, this video is definitely going to run at least probably 45 minutes. So if you can't say the entire time, I understand. I just really, really want to end this stupid front. I'm kind of honestly sick and tired of this stupid front. I, it has to get over. I really don't know why the Russians wouldn't just give up now. I mean, it's they've lost all their most of their industrial base. So... Ah, oh, firepower, very good, very good. Let time go on, because we're pretty much done with all of our focuses. Um, if I had to use something, I might do resistance suppression, production growth, air production, training. I always like construction engineering, but that doesn't help you build factories. Eh, we might as well do some construction repair. I mean, if we do resistance, it doesn't go it doesn't really help that much, I think. So. If we could attack Ostrakhan or, you know, get all the way down here, that would be amazing. I mean, obviously our losses are probably piling up. We're probably going to lose up to 2 million, maybe? Maybe 2 million?
But yeah. The Russians probably should have capitulated by now. I mean, how... Are they still being led by a 12-year-old? Yeah. I don't think a 12-year-old really knows when to give up. But you know what? Maybe this 12-year-old is very, very stubborn. Oh, they took back that division. Whatever. Yeah. What are they on? Oh, they're on all adults, sir. That's why. They have a ton of divisions. What is Mongolia up to? Like, they're not doing that well. They have a tiny, tiny amount of manpower on scraping the barrel. They don't have a lot of divisions. The Turkestanis have even more manpower than the Mongolians. And a few less divisions. We are getting attacked by 22 divisions. Interesting. What happened to my spec ops? Yeah, you're gonna... Or spec ops. My good divisions. Creme de la creme. If we're gonna attack, we're gonna attack very, very well. Alright, send one of you guys back up this way. Send one of you guys to hold. Alright, give me about a few more seconds, and then I'm gonna tell these guys to just keep pushing. Yeah, it's pretty bad when your enemy has already pushed past the Urals. Gotta love it. Got to love it. Come on, guys, get down there. Um, we're almost there. We're almost there. And then I'll just do a, a massive attack. Hopefully it'll be a massive attack. I don't know. Come on, just take that. Awesome. Go ahead. Push, guys. Push. Oh, I didn't mean to attack down here, too, but whatever. You know what? Everyone's attacking. You might as well help attack as well. Even if we don't mind not attack very well down here, the Russians, well, they still get some supplies. Actually, we cut off their capital, which is the most amount of supplies that they can get. These, This pocket's going to die because the Turks actually cut these guys off, which is very nice. Good job, Turks. You actually did a really good job there. As we're just pushing this way. This is empty territory. Like, no, very, very few victory points here. Georgians are going to be a problem. Russians are 92% of the way. Uh, how's Germany holding up? Oh, they're they're holding. Kind of. Kind of holding. I'll send my armies that way, too. Oh, the Andean pack. I'll send my armies to Germany once this is over. Maybe a few of them. The Antons is doing okay-ish. Of course, not in Spain or Portugal, but, you know, whatever. Um, Entente. Oh, yeah. I think these guys... Yeah, the, the Percy Federation is trying to kill off the Dominion of India, which makes sense. Someone's got to unite India, right? Oh my god, that's a lot of manpower. Let's see, extensive conscription. Princely Federation's also an extensive, extensive conscription, but they do have a much better industrial... Well, maybe not a much better industrial base, but quite a bit better industrial base, so that's interesting to see. Very interesting. Well, we can definitely win in some locations. Not all locations, but definitely some locations. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Seriously, there's like almost no divisions around here. All the divisions are kept down here. We need Baku, probably, to kill these guys off. Hmm. I might send all of my armies south. Because there's only, what, like, two guys up here? I need you guys to come this way up here. I need you guys to make an encirclement and come that way. Thank you. Happy 1944, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Ooh. Yeah, go ahead and take that out, guys. Come down here. Grozny. Maybe we could take out Grozny. That would be awesome. Oh, the Don Kaban Union, or the Cossacks, are about to capitulate as well. That's beautiful. Push this way, guys. Push this way. Good. You're doing a great job against these stupid Cossacks. They will pay for what they have done to us. They will pay. Nice, very nice. Who's going to capitulate the first? The Cossacks at 95% or the Russians at 95%? It could, it's anyone's game. Actually, I think I think the Cossacks are going to capitulate since no one's defending Grozny as far as we know. And we just literally walk into the capital. I love it. I love it. Right, Pink? Still joined here by my cat, Pinky. He's sleeping on my chair. And I can't almost see him because he's so dark. Oh, wait, I did I? I missed the capital. Okay. 
Please, please don't miss the capital. Oh, oh, they capitulated. I was right. Awesome. Great job, guys. Go ahead, surround these guys. Uh, you guys actually have to come down here. Do this so we can take out the Georgians. Um, take Tbilisi. I think that's how you pronounce that. Tbilisi or something like that. Go ahead and kill all these Cossacks and Russians. Just butcher them. That's pretty much all I can say about that. Mm, for you guys, do that. That'd be good. Oh. Go and do some repairs. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Go ahead and hold for now, since we can't really win there yet. And the Russians should capitulate relatively soon. They are at 98% of the way there. And this this video has gone over... Will be over at least 45 minutes. Or at least 40 minutes. Okay, Spain is gone. The fall of Gibraltar. That is terrifying. My goodness. Jesus Christ. Come on. Get rid of these guys. They don't deserve to live. We all know they don't deserve to live. Just end them. Oh, crap. They got the supply base back. Come on, guys. Seriously. Seriously, man. Seriously. Oh, they actually left oh, an open hole there. That's not good. Ah, uh, someone... I need... Come down here. Get to Baku. Get to Baku. Russians are 99% of the way there. Oh my god, thank god, it's over. Because the war in the west is doing very poorly for us. But anyways, I'm going to end this episode here. Tomorrow you will see what the peace conference will look like. And thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe if you're new. I apologize for this video going on a little bit further than I wanted it to, but regardless. Check out my Discord link below. I hope I will see you tomorrow, and I hope you all have a tremendous day.